Hi there and welcome back to 355 Code. Today we will be doing another JavaScript beginner tutorial and today we're going to be building a dice roll game using pure JavaScript. Uh, we're going to be using prompt and alert so if you're familiar with those great if not make sure to check out our other videos and of course uh, subscribe to our channel so that you see more videos like this one. So let's dive right in. First of all, what we're going to want to do is get a user input to start our game. So to do that, we're going to use the prompt and we're just going to create a very uh, simple prompt um, asking start. Okay, question mark. That'll be our starting uh, question. And depending on the answer that we get here, we're going to start our game. So let's say um, if this prompt, uh, the answer to this prompt, will be equal to roll. Okay, that means our user typed in roll. Then we are gonna roll the dice. Okay, uh, and basically everything that's gonna go into here is what's gonna happen after uh, we roll the dice. So under here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create the function that actually rolls the dice. So let's call this function uh, roll the dice. Okay, I'm choosing very simple names here. And here is basically um, what we're gonna uh, do when we uh, get the prompt roll. So just to check that everything is working, let's just put in a simple alert here. Um, we're gonna alert roll. And here we're gonna put our function, roll the dice. And uh, now run the code, start, let's say roll. Okay, roll. Great, this is working. Let's try another word that's not roll. No. Okay, nothing happens. Great. Okay, so our first step is done. And basically now we need to uh, actually roll the dice. So what is rolling the dice? We're going to give a random number between 1 to 6. So in order to get a random number in JavaScript, we need to use math.random. Okay, and this will uh, give us a random number between 0 and 1. Okay, so basically what we're going to want to do is um, multiply this by 6. Okay, uh, so now it's going to give us random numbers between uh, 0 and 6. And uh, we're going to add 1. Okay, so this basically gives us now random numbers between 1 and 7. Uh, but it can also include decimal numbers. So let's show you what it looks like. So uh, let's run our code and start roll. Uh, and uh, nothing happened. So this should go under a return. Uh, sorry, I didn't put this in an alert. Uh, that, that was our problem. So we didn't tell the function to alert this. And run roll. And we got a random number, but we have lots of uh, numbers after the decimal point, And that is not like dice. We just want a whole number. So what we're going to need to use is something called math.floor. And basically, that rounds uh, the number down. So basically, if I add math.floor here around the math.random, uh, then if I run our code, roll, excellent, four. Okay, whole number. Let's do it one more time. Roll five. Perfect. Um, so our game is pretty much complete. We have a dice rolling game. The problem is that uh, we need to run our code each time in between rolling. Let's say we want to have a game where the person can continue rolling until they decide they don't want to roll the dice anymore. So let's um, add another prompt, okay, right after our alert and ask play again. Okay, and then right after, uh, right, uh, sorry, after we play again, if this prompt is equal to yes, okay, then we're gonna do something, and if it's no, Okay, so I'm just going to copy this piece of code right here and put that right over here. And if this is no, then we're going to do something else. 
Okay. Um, so if the person wants to play again, basically what we need to do is just call our roll the dice function again. Okay, and then it'll just keep on going in a loop until the person says no. And if the person says no, then uh, we will just alert. See you next time. Okay, and uh, let's try running our code. So start, yes, roll, okay, four, excellent. Play again, yes, okay, two, okay. Play again, no. Um, after looking at our code, basically what's happening here is that we are calling the prompt twice. So we. Each time it enters the if statement, it calls the prompt. So what we want to do is actually call the prompt outside the if statement. So we're going to uh, just declare, let's say here, a variable. So let play again equal, and that's going to be equal to whatever the result is from our prompt. Um, and I'm assuming that you know what uh, variables are. If you're not sure, then you can check out some of our other videos. Um, and now, instead of checking if the prompt is equal to yes by calling the prompt, we're just going to uh, use play again. Okay. And basically what that means is now we're actually only going to prompt once. And then each time we are only going to uh, compare the result with uh, what we have in our if statement. So let's try running that code. Start, roll, excellent. Play again, yes, okay. Play again, no, and see you next time. Perfect. So our code is working now, and in about five minutes, you just built a very simple uh, dice rolling game using pure JavaScript. Um, if you like this video, please give it a like. Please subscribe to our channel so we can share more great, simple uh, JavaScript content with you. And the code uh, will be in the description below. So see you next time.